Yeah. That's uh, the OS AST tender from Germany. This, uh, I never told that this is less than three years old. And uh, well, I took the handle off it, but they look terrible. This is like totally falling apart. Well, this is for the oars. Also fell off. First time I tried to use it. Bolts, everything is not really stainless steel I've been using. And uh, again, the uh, top coat comes off. It's just keep on falling off. It's it's like a process. I can uh, I can't stop it, but I'm gonna sand the boat. Try to find the worst places like here. It's just coming off. Yes, and here it's like you can peel the boat from each other. It's, and as I told the, uh, the sitting area, it was not strong enough to sit on. It cracked, went soft. So I have actually glued, uh, uh, reinforced it with uh, carbon fiber and, and extra um, ribs, both here and up there. And I have some new ones here. It has to be glued in in the front as the bench here also broke it's not strong enough and uh, over here typical a, a place where people are sitting this happened here broke just on a little pressure not a big load not in the waves we can't sail in the waves of this boat it's, then it would fall apart so uh, yeah, that's the old marker of the AST, ASTYARSK.com, Germany, look at that, there's nowhere, it's not falling off, this is okay, it's, yeah, they put their name everywhere, it should be a shame, should they, here, everywhere, things are just, it's not built for to last is a piece of I, I, I consider this as an expensive toy in 2021 I paid uh, almost uh, 10,000 euro for this one with the equipment in it and a small engine six horsepower which I've changed lately to a 10 horsepower this one here is, uh, how can I say, certified for having a 15 horsepower. But I will not recommend that. That will rip this boat apart. It's, it's so badly built that putting a 15 horsepower on it, it would your life on stake, that's for sure. Yeah, it took less than a year. And we told the yard that uh, the boat was kind of start losing the top coat, the gel coat. And they told it, it was, uh, they told me that it was my own fault because I kept it in the water too much. The truth is that it had been hanging in the, the David maybe 99% of the time. And... Uh, they actually said osmosis to me and I mean that's so arrogant that talking to a man like me I've been sailing all my life I just never seen anything like it never ever seen anything like this it is a catastrophe <laughs> if there's something called German quality this will not sort under it. Yeah. It's hard to believe, isn't it? That the tail cut just comes off, you can peel it off like an eggshell. 
you see I start sanding it today and I will fill these scars up the whole bottom is the same thing I just don't want to turn the boat right now it's and there it's possible to see it's coming off as well and the gel coat you, you can't keep it clean it's just the dirt just sticks to it and it seems when the when the water splashes on this and it hits the engine it's like the engine's getting how can I say spotted by white like like this material has never been hardened it's like cheap paint or something yeah. and see here I've taken out all the all the fittings because I need to put some real uh, stainless in uh, I recognize these screws as uh, cheap A2 ones you buy for maybe for your bicycle or something uh, they have been rusted from the first week we got the boat so I have to put some proper uh, A4 to 16 uh, steel in to, to secure the boat and uh, I have to put new handles they are gone as well and I have to change the front attachment here look here look at that I mean this boat is just so terrible lousy build uh, it's on I will say I might have to let it go because it's too dangerous to put my family in it so uh, I will recommend you when you try to save a little weight buying a carbon tender or rigid tender you should avoid to to go for the AST at least I mean this will only bring you sorrow and I've been talking with other guys bought their boats in the same years it's all the same they regret that they bought the boat not happy with that and I don't even know if my work is worth the, the effort try to bring it up to just a decent standard so people are not laughing when they see it hanging in the David and the worst thing is that a lot of people here think that it is an ocean tender built here in New Zealand where I am right now but it isn't it's not an ocean tender they are so much better bit than this piece of shit so uh, I might end it giving it away to some boat builder that can bring it up to a decent standard or something I don't know yeah, we'll see that's all for now